All right, I'm getting ready to use my chainsaw. I've checked my safety features. I've checked my saw. Uh, everything's good. I got my, my right gas in it. I got it borrowed up. But before I do that, I need to go through my PPE. And let's start from the top. First, I'm gonna need a hard hat. And uh, your hard hat should be a Z89 hard hat. And in the line clearance industry, it needs to be class E also. What you do for your hard hat is first thing you do is you're gonna check your, uh, your uh, suspension. Make sure all your suspension is good. My suspension's all good. There's different types of uh, adjustments. This is a ratchet liner. Um, then you're going to look your hard hat over. Look for any holes, nicks, cracks, chunks missing. And if the outside of your hard hat is starting to become discolored, if the outside of your hard hat is not the same color as the inside of your hard hat, which this one is, it's time for it to go. Give it a little squeeze. You hear cracks and pings? It's time to replace it. All right, going on from the hard hat, we're gonna to go to hearing protection. Um, there's many kinds of hearing protection. There's single flange. These are QB2s, I like them. They fit me well. Double flange, single flange, triple flange. There's the foamies, you need hearing protection. Make sure you have it. Then we're gonna to go to safety glasses. Safety glasses should be Z87. It should be on them someplace. Um, actually, you can see it on these right here. Right there, Z87. So, you're gonna need those safety glasses. Um, next thing you're gonna need is to be wearing boots. When we operate chainsaws, we wear boots. Actually, in our, in our company, all the work we do, we wear boots. And your boots need to cover the ankle. And depending on where you're at and what you're doing, there's different boots for different jobs. I like a good heavy boot when I'm out in the woods, like this one, operating a chainsaw. Some areas may require a dielectric boot. Some areas may require a chainsaw cut resistant boot. Uh, the last thing I want to talk about is leg protection. Uh, there's a few types of leg protection. There's chainsaw pants, which I do not have on. I have the chaps on. Um, chainsaw pants are fine as long as they're serviceable. They don't have cuts in them. The material's not pulled out of them. Chaps right now are, we require a full wrap chap. As you can see, my chap wraps in the back. This can be achieved by two ways. We have the, the, the zip chap, which is becoming very popular now. And some of us still have the buckle chap, but we're looking for the full wrap. The chap should go down to the top of the foot or close proximity to it. Again, you want to check these chaps out. If you're using the buckles, all the buckles have to be buckled, all of them. Should there be a missing buckle, could you use these chaps? Uh, you could use them if you could find a way to secure that strap. But if you can't find a way to secure that strap, then it's, it's a no-go. All right, that concludes the PPE, but I want you to know one more thing. If you don't have any of these pieces of PPE, you cannot operate a chainsaw. We're safety first, no one gets hurt. Thank you very much.